action. Okay, so um, we're teaching today. Today we're going to be learning about, the, the title is MAPS, M-A-P-S, which sounds really stupid. Why are you going to confirmation and learn about MAPS? <laughs> My first thought is MAPS. I'm thinking it's like, no. There you go. It's like uh, Google Maps, you know. And, and I'm going to talk about it. This lesson was prepared really before, I think, there was a lot of uh, uh, phones and things, you know. But um, it, it's meant to talk about what's in the back of your Bible. So if you have a study Bible, if you don't have a study Bible, then um, there will be very little in the back of your Bible. Um, but if you do have a study Bible, there's a ton of stuff back there. Um, so just, I, I have a pretty intense uh, study Bible. And I'll just go through some of the things that are back here. Um, so after Revelation, there is a introduction. Oh, well, that's Revelation. Um, there is, let's see. Biblical doctrine and an overview is back here, whatever that is. And uh, then there's reading the Bible, a little thing on how to read the Bible. And then the reliability of Bible manuscripts, uh, original languages in the Bible, Old Testament passages in the New Testament, uh, the Bible and Christianity, um, the history of salvation in the Old Testament, and then something called... A concord, and I don't know that you guys have that, but you probably do if you have a, you have that a study Bible. But a concord looks something like this. I put it up here, so in the back of your Bible. And what it is is um, you can look up a word. If anybody has a concord or a, oh, I do. Okay, good. You can look up a word like um, any word you happen to think of, like love, and it'll show you the places in the Bible where that word is used. You know, this is the old way of doing this. In a little bit, I'm going to show you the new way to do that, which is, I think, better. And then after that, in my Bible, is something called Maps, which is the title of our class. And in there, you'll have maps of the Old Testament, maps of the New Testament. Things are happening there. So you can kind of go, well, okay, Peter went from here to here. And you can go to a New Testament map, and you can see, oh, okay, I see where he traveled. Um, if you have, do you have maps in the back? Do you have one of Israel? Like this, like this, okay. And if you have a map of Israel, you'll see the Sea of Galilee is up on the north or upper part of that map. Do you see that right here? Sea of Galilee, okay. And then um, if you go down, the Jordan River goes from the Sea of Galilee down to the Dead Sea. Do you see that? The Dead Sea in, in your Israel map? Do you see it? Okay, so you see the, the Sea of Galilee where Jesus did a lot of his ministry, and then you see the Jordan River where he's baptized, and it goes right down to the Dead Sea. And if you go about um, between the two, let's see. Well, somewhere between uh, the Sea of Galilee, I don't have the right map here, but between the Sea of Galilee and the Dead Sea, off to the left, or the west, is Jerusalem. All right? So, just to give you an idea, Israel is not very big. So, this is a whole nation, but from the top to the bottom, is probably no more miles than it is from the northern border of Colorado to the southern border of Colorado. About 300 miles. Okay? And then wide... Israel is no wider than like 50 or 60 miles. So it's not even as wide as, you know, it's about the width of a lot of uh, Idaho, for example. Okay? In fact, the whole town of, the whole city, the whole nation of Israel is probably not too much bigger than Idaho. So you can see this, not a very big place, is it? Pretty small. Um, so that's, that's maps. So there's all kinds of maps of Old Testament. You can, <clears throat> so if you're reading the Old Testament, you want to know, where is that? You might go and back to the maps. So there's just stuff. It's just stuff to help you. And um, if your if your Bible is a study Bible, there's going to be more stuff back there. If it's if it's just a reading Bible or a text Bible, you're not going to have anything back there. 
Just you'll just have the text because they're trying to make it smaller and not have it take up so much room. Okay, does that make sense? Just want you to know a little about the back. Now, having said that, uh, I want you to get out your phones if you have them. And now we're going to go into how you can find stuff in your phone about the Bible, which is, I think, better. I mean, it's nice to have these maps, but you got this with you all the time, right? So how many of you have a translation of the Bible on your phone? I can in a couple. You go to the one? Okay, do you have a, a app store? Okay, go to your app store. Everybody there at your app store? Mm -hmm. And type in um, ESV Bible. ESV Bible. Did you find it? Mm -hmm. And down, upload it. Or download it, I guess is the word. So download it, and then you'll have it as an app on your Bible, and or on your phone, and I have it here. It's my first app, and I just hit that, and it comes up. So when you... You it may take a while to, to uh, load it, right? Are you still loading? I don't have Wi-Fi. Yeah, can we go upstairs and get Wi-Fi? I'm on my data and it'll suck my data. You don't have Wi-Fi here? Yeah, the Wi-Fi is really bad down here. Depending oh, is it? it is. Upstairs it's a little bit better. Okay, well maybe you can I do it some other time. I was hoping we could all get it. I got it. Do you? Yeah. Good. So when you have it, you'll see in the upper right-hand corner, um, here you guys don't have it yet. See in the upper right hand corner that hour or spyglass you know what that is right that spyglass in the upper right hand corner so um that spyglass is um you can push that and you could type in a word like prophet and it will show you all the bible passages that have prophet in it so if you're looking to find a bible passage like well, where did Jesus say, uh, I am the Lord of the Sabbath? Oh, shoot. Where did Jesus say that? My uh, picture's frozen here. So where did it say, Lord of the Sabbath? You could type in Sabbath, S-A-B-B-A-T-H, and it would show you all the passages in all of the Bible where Sabbath is used, and you could find the one that you wanted. So um, we, want, we want the... New Testament, so we go, you know, past the Old Testament into the New Testament, and we know that Jesus spoke it, so it's going to be in one of the Gospels, and so, um, well, let's see, where we want to find, maybe in Luke, um, sometimes you have to hit see more, and... Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, so in Luke four seventeen, it says, uh, "And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place." Now all I have to do is touch that four seventeen. It takes me to that Bible passage. This is way better than what's in the back of your Bible. Yeah, a lot easier. It, that would take a lot of time. Yeah, be some of the pages. And this is give me a second. exactly. This is super fast. So um, I want you to have get that ESV uploaded so you have a Bible with you all the time. And uh, if you have a, a couple seconds, you can do that. And uh, there's also, um, let's see, let's go back here. Down at the bottom, there are plans. If you, if you have this, I'll go back here. See this little calendar here at the bottom? If you hit that, it has different plans where you can read the Bible every day. Okay, so this one right here. Uh, you can read the Bible every day. It has different plans you can join. And the other cool thing about this, hey, you got it. Good deal. So look at the bottom. Well, I don't see it now. It was on the bottom. There we go. You just have to tap it. At the bottom, if this is the plans at the bottom. Okay. And here's the other cool thing. Let's say you're in the car and you want to hear the Bible. So you go to a section of the Bible, like we're in Luke chapter 4 um, there. And, uh, 
And the, at the bottom, there's also a little uh, speaker. And you hit that, and... And Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness. For 40 you can days, listen to the Bible. Tempted by the devil. Isn't and that he cool? nothing during those days. So, ended, while you're hungry, driving, or the in the car, him, or you can put your earphones you in, you God, could be listening to the whole Bible as you're going to Jesus Nebraska to visit your relatives. Right, written, Cyrus? Man shall not live by bread alone. So, that is another cool feature of this, of this whole thing. And then, another thing you can do, if you hit a passage and it highlights like this, see how it's highlighted? Maybe you really like that passage, you can... You can hit the passage, highlight it, and then there's a little heart that shows up. And you can punch that, and then that becomes one of your favorite passages. And it gives a list of all your favorite passages. Okay? So this is like really a powerful thing. It's totally free. The ESV Bible is pretty good. It, it was the old RSV Bible that the um, RSV people let go of because they did the NRSV, they did the new RSV version, so they just let that go. And the Missouri Center Lutheran Church took that version the, and made it the ESV, the old version, and updated it a little bit, and then made it free for everybody if you wanted it, which is a pretty cool thing. So you can you can have that and uh, have the ESV Bible, and um, and it's a good translation. So um, it's pretty cool. Do you see how if you hit that little, now that you have it, you hit that little spyglass, um, you can get anywhere you want in the Bible. And you can also, um, if you're in Mark and maybe chapter 3, you can just scroll down and get to chapter 4 or 5 or 6. You just boom, 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 boom until you get to that number and then you're there. Does that make sense? Okay. I think... You know, this is the old system, and it's good, but I think this is better. And also, of course, um, I'm guessing that there are, um, there's probably maps in here, I'm guessing, too. But you know how to get to maps, right? I mean, if you wanted, to, if you wanted a map of Israel during the time of Jesus, you could just type that into Google map of Israel during the time of Jesus or go to Google Maps or whatever and you'd come up with that map, right? So you don't really need the maps in the back of a Bible anymore because you have this. And this, of course, is a computer. It's not a phone. This is a computer with a phone app on it, right? So this thing has tremendous power to do you know that one iPhone has more, way more computer um, memory and ability than the whole computer used to be that used to, when I was a kid your age, they had IBM computers that it filled up huge rooms. And they were just computers doing all this work, doing all this stuff. And this thing does way more than that entire room used to do. That's how much has changed. Okay? So I want you to use this to uh, find things and to uh, learn about the Bible and read the Bible and listen to the Bible. It's just so much better. And there's also plans. I was on a plan this last year with my son where uh, every day you'd go to this plan and it would give you a New Testament part to read. We read through the entire New Testament together. There was about... 15 of us, my daughter, my son, myself, and uh, some of his friends. And um, they were able to, um, we were able to read through the whole Bible together, and we could comment on different parts to each other as well. So, I mean, there's just tons of stuff out there. So, use it. And, uh, you know, that's the great thing about uh, this technology. You know, it's not good or bad, but how you use it is good or bad. Um, you can use this to search for porn, and there's plenty of that on here. Or you can use this to look at the Bible. So the thing itself is not bad or good. It's how you use it that makes it positive or negative for you. Does that make sense? Okay. So now you all have 
a Bible. And the other great thing is when somebody says in a Bible class, says, hey, put away your, your phone. You can say, hey, I'm, see, I'm looking at my Bible right here. This is my Bible. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> okay, so not so cool. It's from, coming from an old guy. Anyway, so everybody got it? Did you everybody download it, able to get it? Not and yet. Then, okay, but you will. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, and I think your mom is supposed to be here any minute, so mm -hmm. hopefully she'll.